So Sanchez is a coming. I think we can all agree now that's, you know, 95% likely. Paul Ince, where does Sanchez play? He doesn't play through the middle instead of Lukaku or Ibrahimovic, does he, really? So we're looking at well, the wider positions. Yeah, I, I think... Rashford and Martial under threat. Well, I don't, not so much Rashford, because I don't think Rashford's really played a lot this season. I think he's normally come on at his 10 minutes towards the back end of the second half. Uh, Jesse's done awfully well, you know, the last four or five weeks. But the thing about... Sanchez, as he's shown that he can play across the front three. You can play him left, you can play him as a 10, play him as a right, and you can play him as a centre forward. It also gives Mourinho an alternative because, as much as Lukaku is that six foot four who holds it up, he's not really got anyone who can go in behind uh, the back four. So, as I said, he, I won't call Sanchez a utility man, so to speak, but from a attacking point of view, he can play all those positions. Has he made the right move, Paul? I think that was the only move he could make. I think he was in, intent on going to make the city when they pulled out. Well, he could have gone to City, but he'd had to wait till the summer. Yeah, yeah, but, which, uh, yeah, but obviously, I think at the time he wanted to go. You know, listen, don't get me wrong. Mate United is one of the biggest clubs in the world because City are actually playing so well and playing the football that I think would have suited Sanchez more than Mate United. Mate United is still one of the biggest clubs in the world, and uh, it's not such a it's not such a bad thing, is it? Is, but he, is he a mercenary, Paul? Martin Keown called him a mercenary this week. Do you think? I think that's a bit harsh, you know. I think, listen, if he was a mercenary, he would have waited to the end of the season and got probably more money, obviously. Exactly. You know, that's listen, he's been underpaid. You know. He's been underpaid for his performances for the last year or two. He's been underpaid, if, if you want to... He's been the best, best, if not second best, in the Premier League for the last two or three years. Mm. So he's had to sacrifice two years of being up there where, where all the other big hitters are. So he's sacrificed that. He's taken the risk. If he gets injured, then he's knackered. I mean, yeah, I mean the, the, the only thing <sighs> I, I will have with it is we've seen and we've heard is that what his temperament's like, you know, amongst his teammates. Yeah, know. but the other side of that is he's a winner. And he's not, a winner. You know, yeah, he hasn't yeah, played you know, with enough winners at yeah, Arsenal. He's, now he's he will play with winners. He was a winner, but it's also yeah. because I remember, you know, people like Cantona coming to Manchester United, you know, it, it was easy to just be a bit of a loner. But he mixed with all the players, the players embraced him and he went on to win things. Sanchez can't be a lonely when he goes to Manchester United. The players won't have it. And that's, that's an important thing. He's been fit virtually every game mm. since oh, he's been there. No he injury. runs yeah. harder, faster than, than anybody else there. I think it's very harsh to say that, that he's sort of... Uh, he's down tools or anything like no, he's that. He's never down tools. tools. Never. By the book. Let, I, I, let's I let's just finish off the Sanchez thing, is, which is Arsenal are getting a lot of a hard yeah. time for not tying mm. him down to a contract. Their fault. They, no, but Mike, I think they tried to. But he, two years ago, but he would say, if he says, which he obviously did, I don't want to sign one, even two years exactly. ago. Exactly, and he's... You are between the devil rules. and the deep blue sea, because if they then sold him, the Arsenal fans would be going, you're selling, you're selling the best player, what Can you do. Can again? Yeah, but they risk... They, OK. The, the other side of that is they risk what's happened, which is getting towards the end of his contract. OK, so it, it's not his fault. And so, if, no, I, was, not his if fault. I was the same, I'd do the same. Exactly. So if they're sixth best in the league and I'm the best player exactly. in the Premier League, I'd think, sod this, I'm going to a better no, but my team. point is they tried to get him to sign up two years ago and he didn't want to. And that's, so that's, that's just their, the that's their pro and, and as I say, if I was him, I would have done exactly the same thing. But if, but but if, Arsenal, meantime, if Arsenal not... were pushing him at the top of the table and doing particularly well in Europe, then he'd want to stay, but exactly. they're not. Yeah, exactly. oh, no, no, absolutely.